exchange provides sterile injection supplies and education to reduce harm from injection drug use. They distribute male and female condoms and educate about safer sex. They provide safe disposal of used injection equipment. The staff at the Needle Exchange can provide counseling and referrals to other healthcare and social service providers. As the AIDS epidemic progressed through the 1980s, it became evident that the HIV virus was rampant amongst injection drug users and could be spread through shared needles as well as through unprotected sex. To prevent the spread of HIV and other bloodborne pathogens, sterile injection equipment and condoms began to be distributed free to injection drug users. This harm reduction model can also provide a portal of contact with holistic health care and reduce the unsafe discarding of needles in the community. An abscess is a localized collection of pus inside a pocket of tissue caused by infection or foreign material. They often occur with intramuscular injections. Skin assessment would include looking for redness, pain, swelling, warmth, and loss of function. Management of abscess includes incision and drainage of the abscess, a pack dressing, and antibiotic therapy. Follow-up is necessary for healing, but often challenging for clients who use IV drugs. When assessing for vein sclerosis or phlebitis, you would assess recently used injection sites, remembering that damage to the vein can occur proximal to the injection site due to particulate matter. The area around the vein can be red, warm, painful, and swollen. You would ask about injection practices determining whether the client filters their drugs or rotates their injection site. Most needle exchanges provide blood testing for HIV and hepatitis C virus, as well as counseling services. Street nurses may provide monitoring and assistance with the complex med regimes that are associated with HIV and Hep C. Teaching will be provided for self-care such as nutrition, rest, and health monitoring.